1969 S. Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 64 read by PCGS. Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton describe the 1969 SDDO Lincoln sent thus, the publicity this coin has received over its lifetime has been enormous, hence the very high values, which are well deserved. One does not even need a loop to discern wide, pronounced doubling to all of the lettering and digits on the obverse. This gem is an attractive piece, with warm, even, medium orange luster to both sides. There are few blemishes of any kind, and most are so small as to be easily overlooked by the unaided eye. It was sold for $86,250. 1932 S. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 66 by NGC. Extraordinary premium gem quality for a key date Washington Quarter issue that enjoys strong demand throughout the numismatic grading scale. Delicate champagne gold iridescence dresses surfaces that are fully lustrous and softly frosted. Both the razor sharp strike and outstanding preservation are also praiseworthy attributes. He 3 1932 dated issues of the new Washington design type are the only quarters produced by the United States Mint from 1931 through 1933. The Great Depression served to limit coinage of many denominations during the early to mid-1930s, and the quarter was no exception. At just 408,000 coins struck, in fact, the 1932S has the lowest mintage in the Circulation Strike Washington series, and it is the rarest issue of its type in gem mint state after only the 1932D. Number 2. 1995 Roosevelt Dime Struck with Saint Obverse Die. Graded in Mint State 64 by NGC. An astounding mint error that prior to the 1990s was believed impossible to occur. Only the narrow difference in die diameter between the cent and dime makes it plausible that a busy mint worker could erroneously pair dies of different denominations. Most likely, a press run was made from this die pairing and detected by an inspector, possibly the operator of the mint press. Perhaps the entire batch was melted, aside from the present coin. This satiny near gem displays the characteristics expected of a dime struck with a cent obverse die. The obverse has only a partial rim. In God we trust and the L and Liberty are tight against the border. This is because the dime planchet was less in diameter than the cent die. On the dime side, the border displays minor softness of strike, principally on S of AM. This super rare error coin ended up selling for $57,500. Number 1. 1957 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. According to NGC, Proof set sales again nearly doubled from the previous year, but a figure of more than a million proof sets seemed to scare many in the coin business. The speculative market in such coins collapsed under the weight of overproduction, and this set was a drug on the market for the next 20 years. This immense mintage resulted in a large population of fully red gems, but most of these have little or no contrast. Cameo pieces are not rare, but ultra cameo specimens are very rare in relation to the total mintage. 1952 D. Washington Quarter Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by NGC. Attractively toned quarter dollar with amazing preservation level for an almost century-old coin. Strong iridescence is evident around the right borders of obverse side. Device elements are well struck. This specimen was sold for $1,085.62 with buyer's fee. 1946 S. Lincoln sent with repunched Mintmark S over D. Graded in Mint State 66 Plus read by PCGS. Red Book listed over Mintmark variety that was discovered in the mid-1990s, the echoes of the underlying D subtly reveal themselves within the curves of both S loops. Device elements are sharply struck, and surfaces are lustrous. It was sold for $2,031.75 with buyer's fee. 1973 S Kennedy half dollar struck on a bronze scent planchet. Graded as PR66 Brown by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, one of the most intriguing and desirable errors from the John Whitney Walter collection, this piece is struck on a bronze scent planchet that is expanded to an ovoid shape in a vain effort to fill the space between the half-dollar dies. The strike is generally centered, both sides with sharp central devices and all of those around the peripheries faint to absent. The S mint mark is sharp, and the date is discernible with the digits 73 most complete. Beautifully toned in a blend of glossy copper brown and powder blue, traces of original bright pink color remain in the centers. It was sold for $7,800. 1995 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 69 read by PCGS. This coin is in the threshold of numismatic perfection lacking just one point for becoming highest-end gem. Both sides radiate vibrant coppery rose luster accompanied with strong cartwheel effect. Reliefs, meaning the height points of the coin are needle-sharp. 
Pennies struck in 1995 are seldom encountered that fine. This is single finest specimen according to PCGS population, as of December 2023. It ended up selling for $19,202.62 with buyer's fee. 1963 D. Franklin half dollar struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded in mint state 63 by NGC. An important off metal planchet error, this being the rarest variant known on a Franklin half dollar. It is also among the most visually stimulating due to the wide size discrepancy between the dime planchet and the intended half dollar. I appeal is superb. It was sold for $7,050. 1943 Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet. Graded in mint state 65 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, fully brilliant and sharply struck on all but the extreme edge of the coin where the smaller dime planchet was stretched nearly to the width of the Lincoln cent by the force of the dies. Blazing white and lustrous with no signs of toning. The strike is so sharp even the VDB on Lincoln's shoulder is clear, a feature often lacking on normal 1943 cents on steel planchets. Of course all 1943 mint errors have a sort of magical appeal because of the fame of the 1943 cents struck on regular copper planchets, of which only a modest number exist. The fame of the 1943 mint errors continues to grow as new price records are reached each time these appear for sale. Finding any such planchet error like this sent on a dime from 1943 is a great fortune for the student of 20th century errors, but in the gem grade this is truly a connoisseur's prize worthy of the finest mint error collection. It was sold for $10,575. 1996 Lincoln sent in MS69 red condition. Excellent modern rarity in terms of grade. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, most Lincoln cents minted in the 1990s are very common since they were struck in large quantities. The 1996 P. Lincoln cent is no exception as the mint struck over 6.6 billion examples. Therefore, finding an example in circulation should be far easy. Only examples in MS68 or higher are scarce. This superb gem ended up selling for $20,250 with buyer's fee. 1922 No D. Cent with strong reverse. Graded as VF25 by PCGS, VF standing for very fine according to coin grading scale. No cents were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such emission of the small cent denomination. Cents were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional cents were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without a letter D below the date. Eventually, numismatists determined that three die pairs of 1922 D cents lack the D die pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This circulated specimen was sold for $840. 1946 S. Roosevelt dime with repunched mint mark and double die reverse, graded in mint state 67 plus full bands by PCGS. The coin is composed of 90% silver and 10% copper. Its surfaces exhibit lustrous and mostly sharply struck features, accompanied by amber, rose, and olive green tones. Notable die doubling is evident, particularly on the reverse lettering and face value. Additionally, the mint mark S shows clear evidence of being punched over another S position differently. This specific coin was sold for $600 on December 5, 2023. A silver eagle with die adjustment strike. According to Heritage Auctions, mint errors on silver eagles are rare and in high demand. This coin was produced while adjusting the die during the installment of new working dies in the press. The dies were initially spaced too far apart, but much of the design was not brought up. The area of the date is among those not struck up, Though the bottom edges of the numerals are visible the date is possibly 1987 or 1991, though an exact match is impossible. The coin is brilliant and satiny and lacks any severe abrasions. It was sold for $2,640. 1952 D. Franklin half dollar in mint state 67 with full bell lines. The majority of certified 1952 D. half dollars are designated as full bell lines and that is unsurprising, as submissions are always value-based. PCGS has examined nearly 7,000 examples of this issue, mostly in grades below MS66. Grading totals at NGC parallel those at PCGS. This piece is an amazing superb gem with a bold strike, and it is tied for the finest that either service has examined. Both sides have brilliant, frosty luster within a light gold tone frame. It was sold for $6,600. 1921 Lincoln sent in MS67 red condition. According to NGC, the minting of cents at Philadelphia dropped off rapidly during 1921, as the huge number struck during the previous five years proved quite sufficient to meet current demand during this recession year. Unlike most Philadelphia mint cents, this date is a bit scarce in fully red gem condition. Worn examples are plentiful. 
This PCGS graded superb gem, displays dynamic yellow golden color with touches of orange red highlight. It was sold for $12,759. 1927s Mercury Dime in Mint State 67. Comes with CAC approval. The 1927s Mercury Dime is scarcer than many other issues from the 1920s in Mint State. Any coin grading finer than MS65 is rare, regardless of the sharpness of the Fassi's bands. This is the sole finest non-full bands coin at PCGS and CAC, and it is numerically equaled by a lone NGC coin in the same grade. PCGS reports MS67 full bands examples that are arguably finer. Brilliant, satiny mint luster complements the pristine surfaces. The Fassi's bands show near full definition. It was sold for $7,500 on December 14, 2023. 1976's Bicentennial Quarter Overstruck on a Struck Scent. Graded as PR67 read by NGC. The Bicentennial Quarter was the sole design change to the Washington Quarter between its 1932 introduction and the 1999 advent of the State Quarter Series. It was struck in 1975 and 1976, though all examples bear 1976 dates. As a single-year type, off-metal specimens are very rare. In fact, a search of our online archives, which date to 1993, failed to find another proof bicentennial quarter struck on a scent planchet. This mint error was struck aligned with the collar dye at 6 o'clock. The types are complete, though Washington's hair is mostly indistinct. Quarter dollar is partial and blurry. It ended up selling for $9,000. 1927s Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. Full red examples of this San Francisco issue are challenging in any grade, and they are rare in gem condition with none numerically finer. This piece displays satiny copper orange luster and is well struck, though minor dye erosion is evident in the fields. Housed in an old green label holder. It was sold for $16,800. 1925s Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 64 plus red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1925s Lincoln scent is scarce in mint state with original red color. Choice examples are particularly elusive, and finer pieces are rare. This plus graded near gem displays mainly copper orange luster but also shows wisps of delicate rose and pale green hues. Only a few specks are present. Struck from worn dyes, as usual, with metal flow lines on the obverse. Evidence of heavy dye usage is more obvious on the obverse than the reverse. Sold on December 14, 2023 for $11,400. 1970s Lincoln sent with large date and double dye obverse. Graded in mint state 64 read by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, at one point this variety was thought to be just as rare as the 1969s double dye, although today's certified population figures suggest it is marginally more plentiful, albeit still scarce in any grade. Strong doubling is most prominent throughout in God we trust and liberty, but is also visible on the date. It was sold for $1,860 on December 17, 2023. 1910 Lincoln Cent. Sharply and richly colored proof penny. Graded as PR66 plus red by NGC. Broad, squared rims and fine matte surface texture leave no doubt as to this coin's proof origins. Each side displays deep pumpkin orange color and is devoid of bothersome abrasions. A loop reveals a few tiny specks on each side, particularly on the reverse. It was sold for $2,760. 1930s Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, this is a sharply struck, pristine copper red example of the 1930s Lincoln Cent, showing no carbon spotting or bothersome abrasions. I appeal is excellent. This issue is rare in MS67 red, and no numerically finer red coins are known, as of December, 2023. It ended up selling for $2,640. 1955 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Shown as a truly memorable coin in a Proof Lincoln Cent of any date. This is a glorious specimen, as the assigned grade suggests, with virtually flawless surfaces dressed in vivid fire orange mint color. Watery fields support satiny design elements, the entire package smooth in hand and virtually pristine. The proof mintage of this issue is 378,200 pieces, not overly generous for the decade, and paltry in comparison to those of later date issues in the Proof Lincoln series. This super rare gem ended up selling for $50,400. 1955 Lincoln sent with double dye obverse. Graded in mint state 63 red by PCGS. Popular and very scarce double dye Lincoln sent with full, bold doubling on the date and obverse lettering. According to David Lawrence Coin Auctions, 
A select example that seems incredibly undervalued as compared to the prices that BN and Airbay coins typically achieve at auction. Highly lustrous and still fully red. This rarity ended up selling for $7,200. 1921 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 red by NGC. This Philadelphia issue is among the more plentiful early dates in the Lincoln Cent series, although full red specimens are conditionally rare at the superb gem level. This piece is tied with one other for finest at NGC. Central strike sharpness is outstanding, while only slight weakness is seen around the rims due to dye fatigue. Satiny copper gold and orange hues adorn each side. It was sold for $3,120. 1909 SVDB cent. Graded in mint state 66 brown by NGC. The 1909 SVDB Lincoln cent is widely sought in red or red and brown grades, although such coins bring collectors a plethora of quality trade-offs, including often carbon spots, insufficient red color, or artificially brightened surfaces. High-end brown examples are distinctly underappreciated. This premium gem glistens with satiny mint luster bathed in chestnut brown, violet, and honey gold colors. A few microscopic pepper specks are well hidden by the patina. It was sold for $4,920. 1945 Lincoln sent in MS67 plus red condition. According to Heritage Auctions, remarkably, the Philadelphia issue of this year is scarcer in high grade than either of the branch mint dates. This plus designated superb gem is among the finest at PCGS, an important acquisition for the competitive registry set collector. The surfaces are vibrantly lustrous, with lilac and olive hues emerging from the coppery red patina. The strike is sharp and just a single, tiny carbon speck is detected, in the field behind Lincoln's shoulder. It ended up selling for $20,400. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 67 red and brown by PCGS. Moderate copper red luster still clings to the protected portions of this near gem 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. The design elements exhibit bold definition, and the overall eye appeal is pleasing. Much of each side displays reddish brown toning. A few tiny specks are not bothersome. It was sold for $4,320. 1922 No D. Lincoln Cent with strong reverse. Graded in mint state 64 brown by PCGS. Die pair 2. The second 2 in the date is sharp on this die pair and the reverse wheat ears are crisp, a product of a new dye. The no-D coins from dye pair 2 are highly sought after and rare in high grade. This satiny walnut brown example displays modest luster and is well struck. Softness on Lincoln's portrait is due to the erosion of the obverse dye. This is one of the most prominent guidebook varieties in the series. It is often collected as a separated issue from the normal mint mark issue, even though both varieties were struck at Denver. This specimen fetched a sum of $31,200. 1919 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 plus red by PCGS. This Denver issue is elusive in high red grades, and premium gems are rare in this color category. This is among a small handful of plus designated pieces reported by PCGS. A gorgeous, full mint red beauty with luster that almost cartwheels. Next to impossible to find at this registry-worthy grade level. It was sold for $13,250. 1993 D. Lincoln Cent struck with dime reverse die. Graded as MS65 red by PCGS. US coins struck with dies of different denominations are extremely rare. According to Heritage Auctions, this lustrous gem shows the characteristics expected of a cent and dime mule. The dime side has a broad, tall rim, since metal was forced into the collar of the dime die by the wider diameter cent die opposite. As a result, the cent side has a soft strike near the rim, since metal in the vicinity flowed into the dime collar. The strike on the devices is normal. The lustrous surfaces are pristine aside from a solitary faint graze above the date. The color is predominantly orange, with shades of fire red and olive green occasionally present. It was sold for $51,750. Number 4. 1990 Lincoln sent with no S. Graded as PR69 Red Deep Cameo by PCGS. Essentially flawless and fiery red, this key Lincoln memorial scent is a meticulously struck superb gem. Mirrored fields are so deep they appear black under direct light, surrounding frosted, orange-red devices. According to Heritage Auctions, the stippled field texture seen on this scent is characteristic of the NOS proofs. This interesting and rare modern proof variety projects to have a surviving population of fewer than 200 coins, making it a must-have rarity for the serious Lincoln scent collector. It was sold for $19,975. 1910 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 67 red by PCGS. According to David Hall, 
the 1910S has long been considered a semi-key date in circulated grades, as have all 1909-1915S mint Lincolns. The mintages of these earliest Lincoln cent S mints is considerably lower, with the exception of the key date 1914D, than all of the Denver and Philadelphia issues. In circulated grades, the 1910S is about the equal of the 1913S, and those two are the easiest of the 1909-1915S mints to find in circulated grades. In gem full red MS65 or better condition, the 1910S is far more plentiful than any of the other early S mints, though it is relatively scarce. In fact, you have to go all the way to 1930 to find a S mint that's easier to find in gem condition than the 1910S. This issue is usually found with a decent strike. The color on original coins is often more light reddish brown than red red. This rare specimen ended up selling for $18,150. 1918D Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, softly lustrous mint orange surfaces exhibit bursts of rich rose and fiery orange iridescence, largely on Lincoln's portrait. A splash of deep royal blue and fiery orange graces the reverse. A sharply struck specimen from the first year with Victor David Brenner's initials on the truncation of Lincoln's shoulder. In 1909 the initials were removed from the reverse design and didn't reappear again until 1918. This gem fetched a sum of $25,850.